I have been to far too many funerals for my age. It's natural, I think, that as we move forward in life, we approach change with greater resistance, perhaps as an attempt to preserve the past, if not only in our minds. So naturally, when the small independent corner store at the end of my road put a handwritten sign in the window that said closed, I gravitated toward it and did the only thing I could think of doing. The only thing I could control. Okay, so the sun has come up uh, and I find it's a little too bright on the building for my liking, uh, but I think I got some really nice shots with the press pan. I'm gonna put that away for a little bit. I'm gonna grab my Canon F1 with a 50 millimeter 1.4 and I also have a 35 millimeter uh, 3.5 in my bag. And I'm gonna head into the uh, old mini putt section uh, and just kind of see what kind of stuff I can find. I've never actually played mini putt here, so it'll be my first time stepping foot in there. So it should be a, maybe something interesting will come out of it. I do have the press pan tucked safely in the car in case I need it, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it again this morning. So let's get in there and see what there is. glad I came in here this morning. Um, I was really happy to see that they actually left some clubs and some balls so I got to play on this course uh, for the first time ever. I'm very rusty though. <laughs> I have to practice my game uh, but it was a lot of fun to be in here and just kind of see what it was. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a demolition or a renovation project. I have no idea what the final thing will look like. Um, so I'm going to be coming back here often to check it out, see how the scene changes throughout time. I know that things change in life, um, but this one's kind of hard. It's funny sometimes how the things we turn to in an attempt to distract our mind 
often forced us to face our fears head on. Because it wasn't long before the power was cut to the building, confirming what deep down I suspected all along. This was not a renovation. The following events played out exactly how you would expect in a small town. In only a few days, gates were put up around the perimeter to prevent trespassing, as the building had been loaned to the local fire department, who set up various points of entry and exit, vital for training new recruits. The building and the grounds then sat vacant for what seemed like forever, as workers removed whatever scrap metal and other salvageable material they could, leaving behind nothing but an empty shell. Finally, exactly two weeks after I played my first round of mini-putt on the abandoned course, the cat was delivered. For three days, I visited the site every two hours to make sure I was there for the big day, because the rest, as they say, is written. nothing built in its place, as the lot was purchased by a larger chain of convenience stores for the sole purpose of removing the competition. There was no media, no onlookers, no one else who could rightly say, I was there. Thank you.